Good morning, everybody. Our chickens got their new coop last night and they're outside. So this is um, the first day. So let's go out and check on them and see how they're doing. Okay, so it's really nice out this morning. I came out here and uh, they're doing great. Um, apparently there was a little mishap last night uh, and um, I'm gonna have to have a little fix. So the great and sturdy coop on day two, um, I'm outside. So I'm about to flip it around and show you what it looks like. You gotta forgive me. This is, I'm just a raw and uncut person. I'm definitely not a beauty blogger. So this is me in the morning, raw and uncut, okay? All right, so let me show you what I came out to. Um, the girls are happy, <laughs> but boy, do I have a little mess to fix. Let me show you. Okay, here's my backyard. Beautiful morning. And I need to pick up some stuff that's out in my backyard. This is my backyard. There's our old coop over there. Okay, let's go see the brave girls. Here they are. Now, generally, when you give them their new coop, they need to stay inside for at least uh, three days to three weeks before you introduce them to their new run. Good morning, beautiful ladies. Good morning. I know everyone's probably mad at me because it looks like y'all fell out of your new nesting boxes, and that's not very nice, now is it? So, as you can see back here, the nesting box took a fall. So, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna have to come and fix this. Poor girls went in there just fine. But I am gonna have to fix this and make sure that this does not happen again because they could have like laid eggs, anything. And that could have like, Seriously, that makes me so mad because we did everything the right way. Good grief. I think that little Miss Harper's trying to tell me about it. Harper, what happened last night? What happened? Huh? Did it fall on you? I'm sorry. Hazel, did it fall on you? I'm gonna come in and fix it, okay? <laughs> so clearly that was not something that I expected to wake up to. So that is scary. They could have hurt my chickens, but um, they seem to be okay. So I'm going to come out here and come back and fix this mess and make sure that it is sturdy for my ladies because I do not want them to be in there uncomfortable. They need a nice gentle place to lay eggs and not be afraid to um, collapse and fall. So I hope that they want to get back in here after this. We'll have to see because like I said, they really should be in here for the first couple of days. You're supposed to leave them in their new coop so that they know where their um, food and water is and where their home is for anywhere for three days to uh, three weeks. Um, mine did really good. Uh, when you, you saw my backyard, I don't only have a fence on one side. Let me show you that. This is where I actually have a fence. Then of course we have the coop here, uh, that mess that I'm gonna be fixing up and, and making neat. But this is my backyard. But as you can see on the other side, it is unfenced, okay? Um, but my chickens have never ever tried to leave this backyard. And every night they did a great job at going into their coop on their own and getting into um, their bed all by themselves. And so all I ever had to do was come back in and slide the door closed for their safety at night. And that was it. So. They really, really are doing very well and they are loving the space that they have. I just gotta make sure that that stupid thing doesn't fall again. So it looks like I'll be coming out here and cleaning this up 
Um, it looks like they did well overnight. Um, they don't seem to be startled or afraid. They did tell me, tell me a little bit about it, but uh, they actually seem to be doing okay. So once I get that mess cleaned up, we'll be uh, back on again. Um, and hopefully the girls will have another night. And I didn't expect to have to do a day three, but it looks like we're going to have to do a day three to make sure that I walk out to um, my chickens still being inside of their coop. And all I'm doing is sliding the door to let them free in the morning time. Ugh, so sad. Anyway, you guys have a good day and thanks for tuning in.